Welcome to Sakura High School Friday Night Lights. Tonight is a serial night here in this game between the Sakura Vikings and their rival, JF Web Warriors. We live in Cremor, North Carolina. I'm Bobby Jones along with Jessica and Billy Crabtree. And we're here this year since for tonight. You know, three weeks ago, Sark River lost. First, it was Sutton Dawn, then had uh, Vance County, then Lewis Ball at home, and they, in, and they had just lost the third straight losing streak here for, t for t this season. And just this is has been a great season. You, you gotta win games, but you win some, you lose some. You can't just win games all the time. And you just say, well, anyway, this game is, has been, this season has been a tough, tough year. And you, and, you, and you do it, and you do this for the fans. But you know, South Grammar have won three home games in a row Nightingale, and Riverside, and Carver, but then on the road, we lost to Sutton Dawn, Vince Johnny, and Lewis Ball, and that was and that was not the way you, you, you want to hear. And that's not the way you want to hear, Bobby. You just I mean, you do anything, you just don't give up. The playoffs are getting started. Well, anyway, the hopes for the playoffs are starting. That was going, that is going on, but hopefully they get to the playoffs, or not, or anyway, if not, then the entire season is over. There's no doubt. Sonic Rambo needs to win two games, they have to get to Wars, and then they have to get to the Panthers on the road. Bill? And it's time you can know why, just a little bit continuous, and you gotta be gotta be very tough and you gotta be sure, sure a lot of heart, and that's all you gotta do. But there's probably more stuff that's gonna happen here right now. <clears throat> it's amazing how this game has to go as you hard and continue. The wars are in. The Wars I just came out. Take a look at the Wars now before we get started. That's the season of the Wilders of uh, Jeff uh, who and Sonic Rammer Football is sponsored by Sonic Rammer Football Friday Night Lights is sponsored by Bojangles. It's bowl time. We did have rain early today, but it didn't stop us, so I'm hoping it will not rain here today. Take a look at the stats of the Red Football Team, we don't mind. Introducing your captains for South Ramble. Number 7, Jonathan Davis. Number 31, Micah Hurts. Number 64, <coughs> Noah Hunter. Number 24, As you Taylor can see Davis. right now, for Webb, 5 wins, 3 losses. For South Ramble, Vikings, 3 wins and 5 losses. <coughs> that was a, that was a, that was going on to the record that going on. It is absolutely unbelievable. And hopefully the Vikings though when they get to the playoffs, it always has. And look at the scores right now for Sark. Oh, well, last week they beat Carball on Friday the 13. It was 22 to 16. <coughs> after they lost the Blue Ball on September 29th. When they had before they had a bye week. And now they are no on the wall to face Sark Ramble. That's the that's the rival, and that's what happens. Can turn so it's gonna be a good one for sure. 
tonight is a seal night. Both teams are on the both teams are ready to go here. The sunset goes down and the sun goes down and we have lights. Football under the lights. So we ready to get started, and we'll be right back right after this. You're watching Soccer and Football Friday Night Lights on the NFHS Network. We're ready to get started right now. Is the face-off between the Wolves and the Vikings. It starts at, at 7.01 right now tonight. We have rain in the forecast tonight. It is what it is, so hope, hopefully the lightning and the stuff will go away. It will stay that way, and it is what it is. As you can see, right about now. <clears throat> and you see, the, and you see Bobby, it's just, it's a, it's a quiet stuff that's going on here, here. In football, but it's probably the thing you can't do already know right now. The Vikings will receive the opening kickoff. Sorry, Carver will receive the opening kickoff as of right now. Right in the fork is getting clouded a little bit. Sonic Gravel won the toss and we'll receive an opening kickoff. And then the dog can't come. It's fucking time! As we get ready right now, the game is, we didn't have the, we didn't see the time, we didn't see the scores for right now, but we're going to try our best to cover it, and we're going to try our best to know the score. So now we get to see how this is going to play out, and the fizzles, <clears throat> the fizzles are getting together right here and see what it is all about. And you all know, just know there is going to be some rain here in the forecast. The players are going to hopefully the, the those teams will get slitting and sliding everywhere all over the place. You all know, just know. But hey, it is concern, concerns. I got the ace in the seat. I'm at home right now. That's good, y'all. That way you don't have to go up there inside that wet and rain going on. Bob, do you hear it? Something amazing is happening here between both Vikings and the Warriors. I just can't wait. I just know it. And we're waiting. Vikings on uh, the walls are set for the kickoff. Game time, mm -hmm. 
was in the end, they all find three to solve the players kick us out, so we, here we go. Number seven gets in here. Kimmy Dennison. And that's what it's all about. We're ready to get started. And here we go. The boss coming out in the 49 law line. First and ten, Vikings had the ball. And Jay McNeil, and Jay McNeil with his six line games. Second down. It comes to one, and that will be a first down sock grabber. I think this is this is gonna give a good to us as you can see the lightning. You can see the lightning, but it's not that much lightning going on. As you always know, players and teens are all not in the container pump, so no doubt about that. First and ten ball on the midfield and Dennison. It's going nowhere. Cameron Dennison is down in the backfield. Mm -hmm. Wow, well, second and eleven. That, but and you know, if this if this game right now, last week they lost to Lewis Boy at home, twenty to seven. When it was, it was a big player early in the game here in the first half of last week. But then they find themselves in trouble. And now they are facing not one, but two of uh, the Wolves and the Panthers. So now it's second and five coming up. Now second down coming up. Let's go to San Cramo defense. I mean, I mean the Wolves defense. And they had to fight this way through. And it's a first down San Cramo. It seems like, maybe not. Looks like it'll be 4 one on the play. So it's 4-1 on that play. First down sock grabber. The quarterback just sneak corner with the quarterback state. And it's gonna be a sock grabber fourth down. First and ten, the four by long line. Uh, 
Apple, Sonic and Apple. First down. Corner with that throw, number three. With that chance, but he goes nowhere. In the lot. Now, second down coming up. Now, some throw to Cameron Dennison. Dennison has no. Dennison gets nowhere. That one goes nowhere and that will be doled down. It seems like World of Rulers team or the defense is looking pretty good. Denton seems, and Cameron Dennison seems like he's doing everything he can to have that one, but no can still, no help, no block. So he's still down now. So I can ever, if it's that short, so keep it or draw it. And McNeil with that one. So it's fourth down, fourth down and three. <clears throat> Are they going to kick the field goal or not? It looks like they're going to go for it. You have to go for it. So it's fourth and three now. We're only in this game right now in the fourth quarter. Corner with a one. And let's see what happens. And it looks like South Carolina picks out the first down. That's that second time here. First down, first down. And that's how this game is all about. So South Carolina picks out the first down. That's the second time they convert fourth down and they did and they did for sure this game go this drive goes on and the first time out the the, the Warriors coach, the coach of the Warriors, talking to the official. And we're going to play on. Jamie with the run of the that part, about three lines and a flag mm -hmm. on the play. Looks like the, after the game, there was a contact. Both sides. <clears throat> Plus with the five penalties for football teams. Yes, it does. Yes, it has. So now it's second down here. The Vikings have the ball now. They're on the red zone. They're close to the red zone. And. Cameron Dennison. And Dennison with a game without five yards. It's a nice throw and three for the Vikings.
And that's a one for Kevin Dennison. He's going to go for it. It's a touchdown, Vikings, but there is a flag. Anthony flying over the And that's why it's going to come back. No touchdown. Holding car. Dark Sock of a Habit. Boy, oh boy. Man. I thought it was a touchdown. He has a holding call against Sock Gravel, so this one has to go back. Looks like it will be 13 for the Vikings. 13 14. Cameron Dennison is on the sideline, putting his helmet on, and he's back on the field. Number three is heading to the sidelines. I mean, number four is heading to the sidelines. And another fly comes out. Mm -hmm. Come on, here's for that time. Second time the Vikings had the penalty is, is against the Vikings for the second time. And you know what? There is nothing you can do. If we're going down inside the game for now, this is absolutely um ridiculous cause I can ever go insane to imagine. Here, here we go now. Coin. Look at the draw. Look at. He missed the tackle. He missed the sack. Now he's going for it. And he's going to go down. He's going down and. Peyton Coin, who knows it. Now it's going to be fourth down. Coming up. Actually, learning four down coming up. Just doing a four down. Trying to find out. I just got to do what you got to do, and that's how it was happening. So it's four down coming up. That's going to be the door time that Vikings can fall four down. Whoever is watching. Coin with the draw, and the catch is incomplete. Defense holds, and that will be a first down. Wars. Wars had the bar. How's everybody doing here tonight? First and 10 for about the 33 yard line. So, meanwhile, it's first and 10. Drop out with the engine, and that's a carry. And then push and shove. And tackle on the play. Tackle on the play. Uh, Michael Hodge.
So it's second down coming out the woods and the Nets. Wolves are struggling. I mean, he's struggling at the contend of Bayless recovered by the Wars. Sign from the fans are looks like they were mm -mm 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 this time. So now it's throw down coming up. Wallace had the bar. We met way in the fourth quarter. Late in the fourth quarter. Um, what are we talking about? And I mean, turns around and draws it. And the defense had him. That's going to be fourth down. So it's four and ten. Inside, look at that. And this guy can run into the midfield. That's the 28 yard line. And the Vikings take over for the second time. Gets it to the guy. And now, with a three long the game. That's another one, it's a first down. Jimmy can shoot with that one. That will bring up the sign from a first down. And that's going to bring it to the end of the first quarter of this game right now. No scoring at the one on the NFHS Network. <coughs> Back in Cleveland right now with the score 0-0 zero, zero here as we start in the second quarter. Vikings had the ball. As you can see, <coughs> all games are playing right now. Bobby Jones along with Joseph Kerr and Bill Crabtree. The officials are now getting the one, and we had just here in this game right now. Looks like we got everything that's going on, and so you see the officials. Both sides are in the bar.
Huh? Okay. I'm back. Welcome to the game right now. With a score of zero zero and a first down. Man. Cannon Dennison. Short game. There is a flag. It's against the Vikings. Actually, we. I don't know who can turn anything for it. This. This penalty right here for the Vikings is costing them. It cost a lot of penalties for Sock Gravel. That's how that this is happening. Down. Hicks for the game is about seven yards. Joy Hess gained about seven yards. <laughs> Thank you. 
Hey, McNeil. We go back. For a long session, throw it down and short. I've never seen everything that goes up in the way. It comes like this, it goes like this, where you play games, you don't do nothing. How is this claw? This is actually absolutely, absolutely an amazing here. And that's a one. Goes left. And this time. He gets a first down. So I'm going to first down. As Vikings have to continue as they the injured. As the injured player on the field. It looks like the, the war player is down. And he's a little bit checking up. We'll take a break as he gets up. When we come back here in Soccer Level High. After the injury timeout, after the commercial break, it's first down Sock River as the Warriors player is back on his feet. Looks to be okay. The Vikings are on the voice. And Sock River. In it right now. Corey. With a snap. He lost the ball. Recovers. And the Royals team got coin. Four on one. Mm -hmm. It's going to be second to go for the Vikings. And it's been a well play. A tough play. Coin, he tried. He in here. Lost the ball. Then all of a sudden, the Royals defenders who got inside. So, it's second and go. A long way to go. And this time, Kevin Dennison goes right. He's going to the end zone. Touchdown, Vikings. Kevin Dennison zips down the right into the end zone for six. That was a fantastic one for Kevin Dennison. After that, Bit mistake costly, a fumble, and it was covered for the Vikings. Now the Vikings have the lead 6 0. That's a snap, and that's a point. It's good. Vikings have the lead 7 and 0. Last player went for three plays. As a result of the Kevin Dennison touchdown. Welcome back in this game. Now the score is now 7 0 Sock Ravel. Grayson Gall with the kick. Cameron Dennison down his first test down the night. <laughs> and the kick is up. Grayson Grove slips and falls but gets back up. Number four. Red Big gets a big hit. Tackle on that play. Of the running ground. There's a another Angel War player on the field. Looks like it's number 24. And we're going to have to stop and pause because of the injury. We'll be right back here from the soccer behind.
Welcome back to the school is now after the injury. The school, the vine, the wolves had the ball. It looks like they were into it. They got into it right now. That's the last stack. And. The good tackle is on the play. Another injury on the play. I don't know who it is. Another war injury on the field. The whole time we've seen those. Those world players are injured. First, second, and third. Third time, we seen a world player injured on the field, so hopefully he'll be okay. As so the officials call a timeout, we'll take a break and step aside. <coughs> Welcome back to the game right now. The Warriors player is still down on the field. And the first timeout, both sides between the Warriors and the Vikings now. And just this is how, uh, how they this passing. The Vikings have the lead. 7 nothing here in the second quarter. And, 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 and this is how this all how this team that goes together to develop both sides at all. Well, we saw, but we saw 11 years ago, Sacramento first win against Webb at home. That was 2012. Yeah, we we both had a good time. That's that's a good thing. This game of soccer is look pretty good. They look pretty well. Remember Kenny Wars. We had Kenny Wars. We had Sean Borman. That was back in the day. Last decade. Soccer who took it. And they just won the game. Then. Ten years ago. On the road. They were on the road. They blew out Webb. And then. Came back back in 2014. That was about nine years ago. Sacramento got the ticket. It was after that. It was a wing delay, and then you got to do. And then you had Sacramento got Sean Bonner. He had scored a touchdown, and it was an amazing. You, you got to do everything just a little bit. That is all about this whole thing. It is what it is, and that's what is happening. Sacramento had the game. They never lost the game. This time, 2014, 2016, 2017, 2019, and then 2021. But it is what it is. So, the good game is right now. You got to know how to continue this thing to continue. Right, well, yes, what it is. You just sign forever. Well, they had never won. They had never beat since 2010. And it's just, I mean, it's all about. So, these things happen here in high school football between GFBL and Sacramento. So, they, the Wolves player is still down on the field. And we're going to step aside and be right back as the game has been delayed. Welcome back in the game right now. The score is 7 and 0 mm -hmm. after that play. That was a catch. Mm -hmm. Two flats on the play.
the rivalry game here between the Wars and the Vikings looks fantastic. Right now, the post of five card is against the Sock River Vikings. <coughs> so now it's forced down the car right now. By the first time, there's nothing to do about it. So now, <coughs> here's the drop. Here's the drop. And the pass call is incomplete. It'll be second down and pass. Pass call is incomplete. It'll be second down. That's about least, and now the defense trying to get it. They go riding down. There's a tackle on the play. Another flag goes down. This time it's against the Vikings for sure. It was a... That was a dirty play. Dirty play, dirty car, and awful. <clears throat> I, mean, I, can, I can believe it. This team, on Sonic Memory right now, on defense, battle start doing those selling pennies. And that's for sure, that's, it hasn't happened for sure, this game right now, between the Wolves and the Vikings. And once again, the Vikings are now, somehow, the officials have pushed the Vikings all the way back, and it's a team guard penalty. That's just ridiculous. That's the same penalty over and over for Vikings. This is realistic. I'm sorry, Bob, but I ain't getting tired of seeing this. Start making those sitting penalties. So now, it's first down, and the Wolves are now, the quarterback gets an inside look, and he goes out of bounds. Starts out of bounds by Jamal Hicks. Down about five. That's the draw to quarterback and go set. By the defense. Killing the deal with the running back. Watch the right back. And that will bring our throw down. So now Sound Grammar will do everything they can. Now Sound Grammar plays defense. They play hard right now. That's what happened. And you gotta stop those doing those penalties. All over and over. That's just, that's just what's gonna happen. This 
Five nine one against the boss. There's a soccer of a football Friday night lights. And there's the draw. This time it gets to inside the player. And he goes in. So that will be a... And that will be it. And let's see if they're going to call it. It looks like the Wolves might get a false down. But it is a timeout. What do you guys think? Actually, right now it's not about the referee's first set of bar. And that will be short for the first down. And the Vikings, if they at the now, the question is if the Warriors have made a decision how to to get a first down or kick a field goal. I can probably for sure that will be in. I will be surprised if the Bulls get the first down here. I'm not sure that's the kind of thing this is going to be. So now, Willis gonna go for it here, and let's see, and looks like the defense just have to wait and see. It looks like don't know. And so Sanko and defense holds and Sanko has the ball. The Wars had turned the ball over the downs that were close to getting a false down. And give it up way short. Time is a first down, Sarah mm -hmm. Gravel. Sarah Gravel, who had him, just picking up some laws. Second play on the drive so far, and that's a Sarah Gravel first down. goes down mm -hmm. on the play. No well, with no game, that will be second and ten.
Cameron Garrison. Picked up the loss and a first down once again. Number 24 with the excellent one, the Moody Kings. That is absolutely nicely done. That was very nice, I believe. So now it's another first down for Sock Grabber. Absolutely had the inside going. And number two slips and goes down hard. So it's a um, second. So that's going to be and second down. Second down for the Vikings for sure. Gets to number two, and that's number two into the end zone for the touchdown. Hits his first touchdown tonight. That puts the Vikings up 13 0. That's not going to stop for hits, for scoring, that's for sure. So now, God, Grayson God, looking to have the extra point. The ball goes in the air, and it's good. Grayson God had just had an extra point. And this is actually an unbelievable game for Sonic Rebel. They had a lead, 14-0, as a result. The score is now 14-0, as well as the, the Wolves has stumbled. And number five is going to go to it, goes nowhere. And that's on the play by Evan Boa and AJ Grant. And that's going to be a going up, and that will be a... So the Wolves had a first down. It'll be first and 10 to 11 about the 25-yard line. So first and 10 the 25-yard line. The Viking defenders. I'm not sure what the quarterback is right now. If I'm not not a contender, that's an A and no. So the corner. Huh? Anyway, you get points anyway, but then you are, as a was, you are down. And the combat gets it to the inside, looks like. And then that gonna let him go nowhere. And yeah, I'm like a horse.
This team song grammar is tough. So now that will be door down coming up. And here we go now, the Warriors are still down by 14 points. Two possessions. Quarterback looking. And he's gonna run, but he's knowing he scores nowhere. Back on the play by Bryson White. Three, four, three, four, three, four. Quarterback of the Wars does not want to hit him. And the Vikings are calling the timeout. With the score of this game late in the second quarter, late in the second half, it's 14 0. Back in the game right now, the score is now 14 0. Sorry, forever. The friends are set to punt. And that's a looks like that's a fumble on the play. And the flags are down once again. And the punt is recovered by South Randall. It's being recovered by South These officials are doing a good job uh, drawing the flags here. <coughs> it's a holding against. It's a holding call against South Randall. So I don't get a holding call. As you can see now on the ALCS. The Astros, who had a home run with Jose, Jose Teresa, or whatever his name was, had a 3-1 home run, and put the Astros 5-4 in the top of the night here in the ALCS. Wow. Here's the draw by Corey, and it is a long pass and a touchdown, Vikings! Wow! Peyton Corey, with that long pass and a big play, brings the touchdown, brings the Vikings to the score, 20-0. to zero. Wow! 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 Boy, oh boy, you guys are so smart. And Grayson go over the answer point. That's a kick. And this time, that's a point. It's good. That's a point. It's good. No foul on the play. Once again, this game, the Warriors 20, I mean, right now in this game here, late in the second quarter, Vikings 21, Warriors zip. Looking back to score, it's now 21 to 0, side grabber, and number 5 is going to go all the way into the midfield. <coughs> and this time... He goes. That was start at the soccer mm -hmm. field mm -hmm. position. About the 22 law line. On the 42 law line. Okay, let's get into it, just like, just like in the, <clears throat> just like the old days here in high school football.
So now here comes here they go now. And uh It's against the wars. First and fifteen for the Warriors. First and fifteen for the Warriors now. And counts a quarterback. And once again he gets sick. There's a former to play. And we deal with the sock member fumble. Right now, that's a flag on the play, and now temples begin to boil over. That's like number seven, and both teams are trying to go at it. Now, number seven is frustrated and has been held back. First the sack, then the fumble, and then all the the pile up, and then all of a sudden, somehow the tempers are just fell between both teams. That's how the but that's how the fans wanted to see a couple of flags on the field. Postal of foul, two postal of five pennies which, for both teams. And the uh, time I has taken by San Granville. We'll be right back. The score is now 21-0. The score is now 21-0. That's the draw for the card, Matt. That's a hit. Like a hot chance to pass with that pass. So Sanko who had to go down along for a lap. The draw and it's gonna go incomplete. That's far as incomplete. That will be fourth down coming up. <coughs> as a wall team, as the as the JF Rail team, there's nothing you can do about it. Here's what he is. Yeah, that's for sure. Sign Gravel Bar. 
looks like they will happen calm it looks like for the time for sure it cast a line but six log a and it's also another Wolves player on the field. That's the fourth time we've seen him tonight. He's down the field. And we're going to take a break and be right back with the score. The Vikings up 21 to 0. Score is now 21 0. Goes to start and <coughs> it's a nice second down for Sonic Level Vikings. Once again, there's a timeout on the play. If you just watch us, the Astros, they won the game 5-4 to four over the Rangers, and they take the lead in the series. The series is three games to two here in the ALCS. <clears throat> After that, home one, the top of the night, and a... And a Strikeout in the bottom of the night. Last strikeout in the bottom of the night. And Astros won. They gonna close out the Rangers on Sunday, Sunday night. <clears throat> it's the Phillies lead two one in the series. They in the top of the second. So now here on the NSCS. And that is the one. That's my name, Sonic of a Soccer Game, the last home game and the final regular season. But they take on the Wolves. High School Soccer starts Monday night at 6 o'clock. Right here on NFSS Network. We're still in the second quarter now. And I think that will bring in. And that will be the end of the first half in this game. Half time coming up. Let's go in this one. Vikings 21, the Wolves 0. We'll be back. We'll be back here in the start in the second half. And we're back. Second half is just getting started. Soccer up 21, zip over the Wolves. And the kick is on its way, and we're on the way to the second half. Number four gets into it, and he's going down this time. Come on here with that tackle. We'll start at the main struggle here in the fourth half. Let's see if they can turn this around here in the second half.
that goes in front of the and a one back is going to go for it. And Jane Holding, 14 out of bounds. In turn, Boston out of bounds, that will be second down. That goes a one and a first down. And back on the play by Brayton White. Trying on the play by Grayson White. One flag is down, and another flag is down. Flags all over the place here. <clears throat> Number 71 is coming down off the field. And he is frustrated. And that's number seven of one. He was in here handing up. And that could be a personal foul once again. And a red has against Webb. <coughs> so, no personal foul against the Vikings. A holder call against Webb. Oh, the sports, sports and luck conduct will be against the Vikings. <laughs> and how good? Hawkins hand the worst for the ref. Yes, when you're soccer, you don't want to cost in the mistakes. You get ejected, and that was it. <coughs> if you cost, if you if you do something crazy, you're getting all busted in like kind of, you get ejected, and that's it. It is what it is, and that is, it is absolutely. Those cars and those panels are absolutely. It's on soft grandpa now, just like they did in Miami on the bowl game in 1991 in general. It'll be first and five, it'll be 48 yards This time, it starts on the 48. Comes number four, and he's going to take it there. Pitch up the fence a lot. There's a flag on the play. Hawson goes out of bounds. It was number 36. 
And the Pulse of the Falcon against the Vikings again. Got the same painting on the Vikings over and over. The Pulse of the Falcons and the Unspecial Luck kind of, this is relentless. I'm sorry, Bobby, but I am getting tired of seeing this. Stop making those sitting penalties. And number two. He's going to get there. And he goes out of bounds. And it's against the soccer Vikings. That will be second down. Next week, Sock River on the road will face Granville Central in the final, final regular season. <coughs> and number two, still is on his feet. Meanwhile, Horton on the tackle. And Horton on that tackle. It'll be third down and a uh, short. South Granville, get loud for third and down. Side problem. Got down on the house, it's now throw down. Number five is gonna get. He gets tackled. Tackle on the play by CJ. Mm -mm. And this time, Wolves will pick up the first down. So now, <coughs> they're trying to get this thing to get over. Number six goes down. What's up with the Blue Hands and Pile? It's against the. Uh, that was the best bit tackling here, I know. Now the Warriors are doing. A good job of doing this. They're still down by 21 points. Three possessions for sure. And it's, an, <clears throat> it's an easy lately for the Warriors. But now the defense of San Cremo is doing their job now. That's a snack and a throw and a tackle. And he's going to be sat for the loss. That's the goal time he's. Go time they doing it. Full time. That is a sack. And now we will be doled down. So now he just got. Now he's got more guys in the plus in it. And. Well, cause a timeout. And as both teams are ahead to the sidelines, we're going to take a break and be right back. You're watching South River Vikings Friday Night Lights on the EFHS Network. Door down coming. The Warriors have to convert door down or they're going to be fourth down. They're going to be facing fourth down. In this territory, or the Vikings territory, now here comes, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. he goes to one, he goes down, 
the tackle on the play by Jamar Hicks and Bryson White. And fast pass. Sorry, Jonathan Davis. And it's a tackle on the play. Bring it fourth and long for Webb. Fourth and long for the Webb Haskett. For the Webb Waters. Waters and Hat struggling this time around. And the Vikings call the timeout on the play. College football on Saturdays and pro football of the NFL is on Sundays. <coughs> and Take a look at the schedule here, Joe. Okay, you see right now, and here we go, week 18. This is week 7. Week 7. Okay, week 7. Okay, here we go. The game will be... This this, the, this game start time is at 1. When the Buccaneers facing the Falcons, Bears facing the Raiders at 1 o'clock. Then the Browns versus the Colts, the New York Giants versus the Commanders, the Ravens versus the Lions, the Bills playing the Patriots. That starts at 1 o'clock. And then you got the Browns and the Steelers and the Chiefs, the defending Super Bowl champs, facing against the Charles and the Packers and the Broncos playing at 425. Boy, boy, if I were you, Bob, I mean, John, you are absolutely a good, <coughs> a good lawn and a good will. And I've been glad if they watching this game, covering the games for me, you know, just so I've, I've been watching college football and pro and NFL Sundays here. You know, I'll be going to be glad, but I'm making sure that I'm going to be seeing, they're going to be seeing more games, a few games, about 10 hours. Before bed at night. That's for sure. You ain't. You wonder what sand. Why? Bill. How's it even now? Because I'm I'm being. I've been studying all week. Absolutely. I'm not too much my big sand and not. Okay, it's four down. The Warriors. And down by three possessions, and here's a draw to a number three, and it's a touchdown. Wars. They right back in, and they and they're here in this game right now. The score is now 21 to six. After that long pass and a big play for the touchdown, and the Wars are still, and the shutout has ended. Wallace gets six points on the board. Great pass and the catch for the touchdown. And they're looking for the two point conversion. And the Wallace gets it. Looks like. And the extra point content is no good right now. There's a penalty flag on the play. Let's see what happens and let's see who caught it. It's against Webb. Don't supposed to like car. And right now, next game right now is 26 to, I mean 24. I mean, no, 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 no. No. Apostle call against South River. And the fans are not happy about that. The 
The cult of the web has got to be restrained by himself. But he was having some roles on an official. And Mike Hawkins is has some roles on the left. So now the score right now. Vikings 21. Web sets. Twenty one to sets the score. The Vikings had the lead. And there was an onside kick and who has the ball? As we become by the side of the Vikings. This Monday on the NFSS Network, it's a final record of the season in this high school soccer game as the Vikings take on the Warriors. The start at 6 o'clock live on the NFSS Network. It's on YouTube channel. Vikings had the ball. And there is the one, but nope. There's a one. Cameron Dennison with that one. Second down. And there is a... Yeah, Cameron Dennis was about a two to three yard gain. It would be third and one for the Vikings. Everybody's got a game for sure. Everybody's got to keep up and this time and this time around. You just got to say, well, anyway, you got to get this game coming up real fast. But that's exactly what happened. <clears throat> so now, throw down coming up here. Rep trying to get this thing going up. And Kemerson picks up the first down. I mean, and... McNeil had the run, and that will be South River first down. First in team, by the 40 long line. I can believe that's unbelievable. It's actually unbelievable that you have to. Get this thing going and going and going, moving the chance for some more. Nice job for the offense. Team McNeil about, five about five. second and five. That brings up second and five. So now they are getting into it. As goes the drill. And it's incomplete. The pass has far incomplete.
The alarm flows up and sound over the field as you might just say, but now I do not believe why the coin he drew that pass that should have been intercepted. And now here comes the one. And this time he picks up the first down. Can I dance with that one? It's on the 45 long line. So now it's now the first down coming for the Vikings. They have a big lead here. It was and they are now first down. <laughs> Okay, South Randall. Side ground. First down. Now number two. It's gonna go all the way into the end zone. First, five, ten, five. As a touchdown, soccer of the Vikings. And that touchdown is brought to you by Jamar Hicks. Jamar Hicks, who had a touchdown. That's his second. It was a good touchdown one. That time the Grayson Gold takes a shot into the into the extra point and the extra point is good. And the Vikings take it. Last drive by Jabbar Hits. As a result, the touchdown has been has been rewarded. And it's 28 to 6. Score is now 28 to 6. As number 4 gets a stop. And Jamal Ray with a big tackle. And Jamal Ray with a big tackle. Last home game of the season. Grayson Rod, the general of the Sarkova Vikings. <clears throat> Everybody is having fun here tonight. Sarkova is enjoying the lead. And that's a nice cast here. And number two goes down. Sonic River has enjoyed. Sonic River Vikings are enjoying this big lead. They will ne they never look back. They, uh, they keep the Vikings home street over the wells. That's the draw for number eight. Number eight is gonna go down. And he gets stuck. Vikings are looking for 11 game winning streak over the world. So that's an 11 game winning streak.
Warriors are trying to break the streak over the Vikings against the Vikings and they're down by 28 to 6. So nice. And Castle Joy and the sack is coming. He gets sacked again. Bryson White and Mark Turner Park to get down to that sack. Sure, it can turn inside, can turn the pond, but third down and 24. Throw down 24. South Randall, get loud for third down. Red has totally, has been totally out of it here. So this time it's throw down, throw down the line on the 24, and here comes the Cats. Looks like Jonathan Davis on the tackle. Jonathan Davis on the touchdown. Meanwhile, it's fourth down. That's how they getting more games out of labor. That's unbelievable. That's just amazing. Well, cross the timeout. <laughs> Fourth down. We have set the punt here. That's how long they're going to get. And that's all you're going to get right here. Side grabber. Sound cover, press up, a first down. Ah, oh, the ball is loose. And it's recover. It's cover, it's recover by a well. So soccer, so the soccer ever had torn over, torn the ball over, and the web takes control of the ball with no time left here, with not much time left here in the in the third quarter. So now it's still, so now it's Wolves ball.
Here's number six. Tap on the play by Tap on the play. And Micah Hurt. And Micah Hurt's for that tangle. Now we've got second and nine and a long way to go. And that's going to be the end of the dull quarter. It will be Wolves Bar as we begin to start in the fourth quarter. Welcome back to the game with now with the score 28 to 6. As the Wolves had the bar start on the 45 yard line. And the quarterback is getting to it. He has to throw it away. Pass for us incomplete. That's there's an Angel Viking fo football. Angel Viking player on the play. And this time he's in pain. We take a look at his stress when we come back from Creamore for the Viking Stinger. After the injury was a Viking player is getting back on his feet as the draw has been catched and it is incomplete again. Turn back to his holding. So now it's a go down situation. Down down the field. Penalty is declined. We bring up fourth down and nine. Correction. Go down and nine coming out. It is fourth down. No, no, it's was, was fourth down, right? Yeah. Here comes the pass. As, and the defense holds. It's a cycle of war. Had the bar here. Here in the full quarter. If anybody is missing keys to their Nissan, please come up to the booth. Twenty-eight to six. The score. Vikings had the ball. And Well, cost the time out. Well, cost the time out. How many games that Colorado Buffalo lose 
this season. You know, seeing this, first it was 3 and up, then it was 3 and 3. Colorado football, Colorado Buffaloes, and how many teams they lost? But anyway. Anyway. Let's see how much they lost. Well, anyway. They lost it. Mm -hmm, I don't know how much they lost. Sanders and his team. They look pretty good, but not that good. Okay. So now, yes, it goes the first down for soccer ever. And here's the with a big run. There's a flag. That's a face mask panning against the Warriors. So now it's on the we in, in the territory, on the Wolves territory. And Cameron Dennison is going to go left. He's going to go to the end zone. And the touchdown Vikings once again. That puts the Vikings up. 34 to 6. And a whole lot more. Nobody's holding the block. That's it's not happening. That's not. It's not happening for the Warriors here tonight. Not happening for JFP here. No, no, no more happiness for JFP here tonight. I can tell you that much. There's a lot of it. There's a lot. There was a lot of happy. There will be a lot of happiness on the South Bowl. Fans here tonight. I can tell you that much. And then, and Cameron Dennison, who had an end zone for the touchdown, that's to his second touchdown tonight, and that puts the Vikings up thirty-five to six. The score is now is 35 to 6 as the one goes into the end zone. I mean, the one goes in into the. I mean, no, 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 no. Cost me a feel.
I say easy. That's not the easy way to see this, but uh, I think I think you. I love you guys very much. And number two is goes elbow. And however, the big tackle that will be second down coming up. So now, second down for the Wallace. And that's a fumble. This time the Wallace recovered it. And go and number two goes down. Forcing the fumble, I can't call it that tackle. And that's like. Number eight or number nine, I think number eight guy Angel on the play, and the timeout, and the timeout officials. We're going to separate time with the score, Vikings thirty five and the water six. Number eight gets back up. And I'll score this one. Number eight for that. Gets Angel on the play. And Number eight with that throw. And the pass is intercepted by the defense. This may be the big return, it is. So along with that, and intercept the ball. And there's a flag on the play. There's another flag on the field once again. Fall a forty five yard
once again, that's a prank I'm play. Next, now, next Friday, Sonic Gravel on the wall, facing Gravel Sensor. That will be next Friday at 7 o'clock. And still. Once again, this hit comes from Pies, and now number one is going to get to it, and it's going to get spilled by number four. Number one gets spilled by the rail player. That's number four. And there's another penalty. Also a foul. Also a foul call against the soccer against the JFL defense. This ain't no joke. Okay, okay. That's not supposed to like count up. For real. And I know that they're supposed to lock like kind of against the fans. Wow. Fans are gonna like it. It's okay to get a uh, sports and lock kind of It was uh, supposed to be like kind of once again and again and again. The coaches and the Red Wolves is not happy about it. The Wolves fans think it's funny because every time when the Viking fans are very happy, they're very happy. And it's okay to get a uh, sports and like kind of while the Wolves fans are happy. While the Wolves fans are not happy about it. Because you know here in Oxford when you got in but now in Oxford, North Carolina you can watch it all night and watch it on film. I'm going they're gonna be like how many times do we have to start the Viking playoffs? That's what the Wolves fans are like. And they would they, I mean they were very furious about making those parents. But this time it is what it is. And the Colts or the Bulls are not happy about it. He's foolish. Well, the Soccer of the Vikings is going to win this game. They got one more game. They will win this game against Webb, and they got one more game. They will beat Webb Sensor next Friday night. To go fighting fine. So now it's false down. And Cannon dancing again. We're going to get. And. Camera dancing gets fall out on the line. That will be 
Oh no, unfortunately that's a flag on the play. Yeah, it's a holding call against the South Carolina Vikings. Again, first down, side gravel. Jamie down the way is about six long line. State, it was the explosion lock kind of against Webb again and again and again. Now, number four Hicks is gonna go for it, and he gets stopped. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, no, McNeil. Sorry about that. McNeil, Jimmy McNeil goes down. That's what you have to get the car right. So now, Jimmy, and he got the defenders at him. So it's going to be fourth down and short. It's going to go for the touchdown. I tell you what, <clears throat> this team, Sonic Grammar, is walking tonight. After they lost three, three straight games in the wall, something done on the wall. Vince Kyle on the boy, and they at home lose ball on the pink game, but now they find their way of beating Webb. Grayson go with the exit kick, and the flag is on the play. <laughs> the closing call against Webb. Wolves are having a bad night. Once again, the Fraggles don't play. Colton calling against the Wolves once again. Webb is having a bad night tonight. It doesn't matter if, we, if this game can change just a little bit either way. It was a very first. This is a very frustrated team. Great to go with that kick. And the answer point is good. 
So the Vikings are pulling on, and this is one of those nights. And here's how: 42 sets to score on Friday Night Lights. Number four. Gets it. Looks like he's going to go for it. And now he's going for it. Looks like he's going inside. Into the. Right down the Viking territory. Number four with a nice run here, and the Vikings are, and the and the Warriors are, the Warriors are right now. I pick out the great Vikings, Vikings fair position. Number four is going to keep it. This time he's going down to the. There were person and person and person. There's an attack on the play, it's going to be against the Vikings. Looks like they're going to score this, hopefully. Number two is going to get, get there. He's going to run it. He's going to fight it. And. This time it's a first down. Son Wells. Well, gets the first down. Single night. A soccer level high. Number two is going to keep it as a touchdown, boys. Four plays on the drive. This game has been getting out of reach, that's for sure. So now. Two-point content is no good. So now the score right now, as we just know it, this game is... It's a one-side affair. And it ends in a blowout. So Sonic Rebel will win this game. But... Just uh, like about a minute to go here. 
Looks like the clock will contain the tick. But that's something like this can have, can be. So anyway, looks like well, teams know that the bus is running, warming up. Rest team knows that the bus is warming up. To highlight 22 miles to Oxford. This team has been absolutely unbelievable for all these deals. Will has been beaten by a soft level all these deals. That's 11 years straight. And the frags on the mm -hmm. and the mm -hmm. ball goes on the bounds and the frags is down. <laughs> Sock Rebels home seventh home game win streak against Webb. And it has continued. They're just going to have this round to continue the lesson. Well, we'd like to thank everybody for coming. I'd like to thank God. We'd like to thank Joseph and Bill, Colin Jackson, and including me. Bobby Jones, along with Joseph Cooper and Bill Contre. And Kevin Dennison goes about seven yards. Runs seven yards. I tell you what, this team is looking well here tonight. They're looking great tonight. Sock Rebel, who had everything on that tool book, everything on that playbook. That's how this team wants to be. That's how this team wants to be. And if you play against Rev like this, you win easy. This is the easy, easy game against Rev. And you gotta get the icing on the kick. But now, and now it gets bigger and bigger. And they put everything on that person. They put pressure on Rev. And the boys knows they're in trouble. And the Vikings are doing a good, good job keeping this game coming up. That's close. Everything that goes up the round. Number one spins around the round. Four the number six. No soccer number first. And no soccer number first down. <clears throat> Can we ever wait to tell this? It's actually amazing. I, I can always know that this is how this is their time for sure, but anyway, he knows that can be. Number one, and it slipped. His pass again is about three or four yards. His pass again is about three or four yards. Well, we have a big break or a quick break. A shout out to our South Ramble varsity senior cheerleaders. <laughs>
Oh, he's lost the bar. Let's go to the Samba. Down coming up. Oh, my goodness. And for the run for the forty four yard line. Okay, it's gonna say a dice for a You know, Gray has can turn as though. Clock runs down to zeros. And the next football game will be at Granville Central next week. So I'm going to win this game. 42 to 12. Over Webb. Congratulations for them. And this game has continued. Now the Vikings are going four and five. Well, we're going five and four. So the Vikings win this game. Our final score: forty-two to twelve. At 30 points. It's the win for the Vikings as we say so long. Adios. In Kribar.